Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the Emperor's Executioners themselves. That's right, we are painting the Space Walls. And, well, we're going to be using the new Contrast Paints and the new Shade Paints from Games Workshop, sent to me early by them, to review for all of you. And, well, we're going to jump in and start painting. He's been primed in grace here, just how the rest of our Mark VI Space Marines have been. And the first colour we're going to be using is Dawnstone. Now don't worry, this might seem weird. We've not done this before, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take that Dawnstone and we're going to start applying this over the top of all of our Space Walls armour. Now, Dawnstone, as we all know, is one of my favourite layer paints. And because it's a layer paint, it means it might take you a couple of thin coats over all of the armour just to get a nice, consistent grey tone. But that's okay. That's what we expect. We just want to take it nice and steady, make sure we get this all over, get a nice strong mid-grey here. Just like this. Now, we are going to have some different colours on here, for example, some black, for example. That's a lot of four examples, but that's okay we're going to do the black over the top of the Dawnstone as well. So you do just want to get this over all of the armour. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So after two thin coats of Dawnstone, you should have a space wolf that looks somewhat like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the new reformulated Drakenhof Nightshade. And we're going to apply this all over the top of all of our armour. Just like that. You can see already. Just what tone we're going for. So with that done, you should now have this glorious dark bluish gray armor. Looks fantastic. So what we're gonna do is move on now. I'm going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to start applying this to all of our black details. So this is going to include any of the kind of soft joints. So we've got this little contraption just here on the tummy. Just there. Like that. Got the soft joints in the armor. Got any cables? So for example, those two just in there under the armpit, like that. And then we're also going to apply this over the top of his shoulder pad that we haven't shaded with the Drakenhof Nightshade. As you can see, there's a very clear difference between the two. And we're going to be shading, well, shape. We're going to be painting this over the top of the backpack as well. So with that done, what we're now going to do is going to take some Garagax Sewer. I'm going to apply this over the top of the leather. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Iron Warriors. We're going to pretty much cover in all of our remaining details with this, excluding, of course, his face. But we are going to be painting in his headset with the Iron Warriors. And we are also going to exclude 
plasma coils on the pistol. So with all that Iron Warriors applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Pilar Glacier, the new contrast paint, and we're gonna apply this over the top of our plasma coils. So just whilst we're waiting for that Pilar Glacier to dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Gilliman flesh. I'm gonna apply this over the top of our Space Wolf's face. So just whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to take some Magma Droth Flame. I'm going to paint this over the top of his beard. So with that done, it's now time to add some shades. And the colour we're going to be doing first is Tiran Blue. And we're applying this to the plasma, co plasma coils. And we just want to kind of keep this towards the kind of darkest parts. So we're just going to add it in like that. And we're going to add it in like that. Because this is just like a contrast paint. And what we can do is we can clean the brush off. And then we can just smooth out that transition just a little bit by just going over the top with our clean brush like that just to add a little bit more variation into our plasma coil so with that done what we're then going to do is we're going to take some null oil and we're going to use this to shade all of the silver So with that null oil applied, we're then going to take some of the new reformulated Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to paint this over the top of his face and also his beard. Just to take the edge off of quite how orange that is. And to also just add a little bit more shade and colour his face. So with that done, just to add a little bit more colour and variation into our lightning claw, we're going to take a little bit of Garagax Sewer. And over these coils just here, we're just going to paint this. Like that. to make it look a little bit more interesting. And then we're also gonna paint it over this little panel. And as our final base coat, we're gonna take some of the new Sigvald Burgundy. I'm gonna apply this over the top of, well, it's possibly an eye patch, but I'm considering it to be 
like a view, uh, like a sort of viewfinder type thing. So with that done, our Space Wolf is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. He's looking pretty fantastic. However, we're not going to leave him there. No, we are going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do that by adding some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is, once again, Dawnstone. And we're just going to use this over the top of all of his grey armour. Now it's going to be a little bit of a subtle highlight. on account of Dawnstone being the base. That's kind of what we want. So with that done across all of the grey and all of the black, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Fenrisian grey and we're going to use this as our spot highlight. And it's going to seem a little bit weird, but trust me, you're going to get this really nice kind of mild bluish effect on the sharpest points of all of these details. Just like that. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down iron breaker. We're gonna use this to highlight all of our silver. Providing these really strong edge highlights. Just like this sort of thing. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna work on his face. The color we're gonna be using first is Kislev Flesh. And we're just gonna be using this to pick out all of the raised features. In his skin. For example, around here on the nose, a little bit blobby there. Just go in there and pick that up. And with that Kislev flesh applies, we're then going to take some Blade One flesh and apply this to the sharpest points. Around his face. Like that. So with that now done, we want to take a teeny tiny amount of Black Legion. I'm going to paint this over the top of his eyeball. Like that. I'm just going to paint this over the top of the service studs. So with that done, we want to take the tiniest, tiniest wee dot of Screaming Skull and we'll apply this 
in the corners of his eyeball. Just like that. So with that done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm gonna add a little highlight around our little lens. Just going around. The bottom right corner like that. And with that done, we then wanna take a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of Cadian Flesh Tone. We want to add an even smaller highlight over the top. Of our Evil Sun Scarlet one, just in there like that. And then finally, just to finish him off, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Corax White. We're going to add a little dot of it just up here. In the top left corner of our lens. And then we're also going to add some of this going over the top of the kind of the corners. So here we have it then. The Son of Russ is now finished. And I was toying a lot with how to do that armor because you can go too dark with it or you can go too blue with it. But I think we've managed to hit just that right sweet spot in between. And I'm really, really pleased with this scheme. I could almost see myself, as always, doing a bunch of Space Wolves just like this. Really, really pleased with it. You could also add some more company markings. For example, some of them have red shoulder pads instead of the grey. But I think this looks absolutely fantastic. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.